Hello everybody and welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. What I've done is I've built this beautiful shell of a house. Just spaces upstairs and then we have a nice little downstairs area. And the catch here is that I'm going to pick which room is which randomly. So we're going to start here and then go counterclockwise around the downstairs. And then we'll do the same thing upstairs. And I'm going to use this random wheel picker to decide which room to build. This could be very chaotic. All right, let's start by spinning for the first room. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Living room. All right, a bit like a TV in here. The living room. Do a nice, uh, let's turn on move objects. Maybe use this one and then we'll just size them down a little bit. All right, we could do something like this. Rotate it this way. We can see if we can get at least some type of seating in here. I think that double door is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Maybe this puff. Just, uh, if we can get two puffs in here. If I scoop this back a little bit. No, I don't think Sims can walk through there. Okay, I think we just get one. And then we can put down some nice flooring and some nice living room wallpaper. Do like a classic. And, oh, we could put a painting up. That'd be nice. That'd be a good touch. Yeah, all right. And sneak a little plant next to it. Just very carefully. There we go. It's a, that's a really nice living room, guys. Best one I've ever built. With that, let's spin the wheel for the next room. All righty. Let's spin that wheel. Fingers crossed that it's not the bathroom. All right, we have the porch. You know, every good porch has to have a grill. Like if we use this grill and put it like right here, maybe we can squeeze in, in an umbrella table. Maybe I'll put one of these nice little, like, wicker benches. Under the window. Right next to the grill. You know, this layout makes a lot of sense once you think about it. Um, let's see what else is very porch. Uh, oh, apparently these really crazy things are. Let's not do those. Oh, we could put some lights down though. That's kind of nice. All right, got that. And then maybe something cute like right here could be good. Yeah, let's maybe do like this little wreath. I think that's, that's very porch. And then let's see, maybe we'll just use these. I feel like that's kind of more of a porch vibe, and then I'm just gonna pop those in the little tiny landing up here too, since that's part of the porch. Technically, find some nice. You know, the exterior of the house is this color. I feel like that would be the right kind of coloring for the porch on the inside. And we can just do that inside this hallway. We will put a little night box. Yeah, okay, I think that's all I can really do in here given the space beyond maybe just putting like a little outdoor light here. Do one of these little guys maybe. Ooh, all right. I think that's good for the porch. Now we're gonna spin for this room next. Fingers crossed that it's not the bathroom. <laughs> 
There's like one good spot for the bathroom and Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well. So this is going to be the bathroom. Oh boy. All right. Oh, we'll use one of these like university showers. <sighs> okay. Um wouldn't be complete without a couple of accents. Oh, let's get some nice toilet paper and maybe a little storage unit. Oh, this one's way cuter. Let's use this one. This right here. Wow. Let's put up a nice little, maybe not this one. I'll just use a tiny living one. Oh, that's so awkwardly high. I always forget that, how high up that mirror is and no, I'm never really into it, and every single time I think I'm going to be into it, and then I'm reminded that it's not really quite it. Ooh, and now let's get, um, sneak a little hand towel in there, and I feel like we can also hang up some bath towels over here. We'll get two. Blue one and a pink one. That's kind of nice. Um, then I can put maybe some curtains partially over those windows. Do these just like rolly curtains. Now this is probably my favorite rug to put in bathrooms. Especially with the matching shower bath, which we unfortunately don't really have space for here. Alright, let's paint this room. Let's do just maybe a basic white tile on the floor. And then for the walls, could use a parenthood one. Yeah, let's use that one. Let's spin for this little room next. All right, let's spin that wheel. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, it's the bedroom. <laughs> I think this is definitely gonna be have to be a kid room and I think if we put a bunk bed in it won't be totally awful it'll just be a little bit sad this one would be nice and then what is the most fun thing to have under your bunk bed put like one of these cute little bear chairs underneath yeah that's kind of nice Put up this nice uh, Boyd Critter poster. We'll do a fluffy rug, maybe. Like, your room is terrible, but at least the rug is fluffy. We can use this wood, maybe, from the other room. In the kid room. And... Oh, there's a shelf. Maybe we can put maybe this little shelf. One thing that would block. And then we could put some toys on it, like a cat and car. These bubbles. Pretty good. And then put the wall light up. So let's shrink that down a size, maybe. And then we can just paint the walls a nice, fun kid color. Yeah. It's not uh, totally horrible. Kind of is totally horrible. Okay, <laughs> let's do this room right here next. Kitchen! See, I'm thinking I'm gonna use these countertops. Do a nice fridge, nice sink. Nice stove top. Alright, and then maybe we can do like a little island somewhere in here. All right, let's put these guys in here. 
You can still put a trash can and stuff. All right, let's just put a couple of decorations in here so it doesn't look totally lame. To do a little desk in the window. I know my parents have that at their house, and it's actually, it's kind of nice. I think Sims can still walk through there, but I think I'm going to use a different chair. I'm going to use this nice slatted wooden here. Then we do a nice little backsplash. And I think the last thing I want to do is just put some cute hanging lights over the whole little breakfast bar. Use these ones. So this is the next room that we're going to do. And we'll spin that wheel. Hopefully. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> we'll get another bedroom outside on the porch. I almost feel like I should use like this canopy bed. <laughs> Imagine your sims are protected from the rain, but um, we'll just use, you know, we'll keep with the aesthetic of the house. This bed is going to look really nice out on the porch. And of course we need some little bedside tables. Lighting is very funky out here. Or you could just have you know, everything in a big bureau. Maybe we can find a cute divider too to kind of, you know, section off our different living spaces. It's a nice fuzzy rug, super well outside. <laughs> um, and then maybe we'll have like another little bureau area or something. We'll just use this one in like a nice blue. And we can put some bedroom clutter in here. Look at couches in the bedrooms. We'll put like a little love seat over here. And I think we should put like a little light on this bedside table. Maybe this one. Very nice. Okay. Now we are going to pop upstairs and we're gonna spin for this bigger room right here. Alrighty, let's spin that wheel. Hallway! <laughs> All right, that means that our other room will be dining room just by process of elimination. So let's build our last two rooms. I'm gonna start just by painting it. Hallway, I was kind of just picturing like maybe some bookshelves, um, you know, paintings type of thing. You know, typical hallway stuff. You know, like these types of little tables that have, you know, art, art hanging over them. So, get some of that going. And then, I feel like hallways sometimes have, I always say have desks, but we already put one downstairs. Um, just like a, a thermostat would be nice. People store like hobby equipment in a hallway. So, put something like a little microphone. Could be, could be fun, and then some rugs in here, kind of bring the whole place together a little bit more. Maybe just some more bookshelves would be hallway appropriate. Put some of these nice modular ones in. And just put some more clutter items on those. Then I think we can maybe put a plant here. So put a little fig tree. I think we'll do the pink and I'm just gonna change the color of that rug because it looks not so great. All right. 
Maybe if we if we don't do a real couch, but we just do that little bench. I think that that feels appropriate. I think it feels very hallway, you know. I think I think it's good. I think that's not pushing the definitions of hallway furniture too far. But you know, if you disagree, if you think that I'm very much bending the laws of hallway furniture, definitely uh, comment and let me know, and we can have some fun conversations about hallways. <laughs> Let's move on to the dining room slash uh, wonderful space. Keep up with this nice bright wood. Okay, the door is over here. I guess we can put the table back here, maybe. And it's going to be a pretty small table. Can use that one. Maybe we'll use this one since it has a pretty tablecloth on it. It's kind of nice, or maybe cottage living table. Yeah. Is this one. Then we'll just do some nice little chairs. I think maybe we can fit in uh, the very cool vintage glamour bar. And apologies if you can hear some rumbly noises. A uh, huge truck just drove by my apartment. So if you heard those and were wondering what was going on, that's just just a big truck going by. Don't worry about it. All right, let's put some wall decor up. I think, you know, what says dining room like nothing else? Maybe a little centerpiece on the table. Can find something that's nice and small. Try to put like a little plant on the table. Mm, not that plant though. Yeah. Just want that to be centered with the table and the window, which it doesn't really want to do. Okay. Size that down maybe. I feel like that feels very dining room. We will do like that. Oh, this green is kind of nice. Well, yeah, this is our house. So, just to give you a little bit of a tour of this beautiful thing we've built, come in the front door and into the living room, and then we go out onto the porch where we have a nice grill, this little termite thing, nice little place to sit. From there it's very easy access into the bathroom. And then we have the kids room right here. When we continue from the bathroom into the kitchen, which I think is the only room in the house that really makes sense. Um, then we have of course um, the second bedroom here. Um, outside so your sims can get lots of fresh air very important for their well-being and then upstairs um, we have a nice hallway inside its own room new novel design and then we also have our little dining room thanks everybody so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought about this challenge also if you enjoyed this challenge and you want to play it yourself the random room challenge shell is on my gallery so you can download it and you can decorate it totally normally or if you'd like to have a fun chaotic time you can also play this challenge so i'll see you all next time bye everybody